Now, county governments have been given a 60-day deadline by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to provide detailed anti-corruption mechanisms, including internal audits, functionality status, in a bid to prevent graft in devolved units. The Anti-Corruption Commission is investigating a total of 21 former and current county bosses implicated in various mismanagement offenses and taking action at both the criminal and civil courts. The departments. Secondly, most of them have not established or operationalized the audit committees that are required to exercise oversight over governance. And remember, the audit committees uh, are uh, composed of people who are uh, uh, recruited externally, with only the county assembly sending uh, a representative in respect to that side. And on the other side, that is of the executive, the governor appointing a representative to sit in that audit committee. It is uh, organized that way because audit committees are supposed to be independent. So the law requires that uh, the internal audit department reports to that audit committee comprised of external persons. But what is happening in our county governments today is that uh, most heads of the internal audit units report to the chief officer's finance and on the, on the side of the assembly they report to the clerk so then what happens if the audit issues relate to those individuals an auditor is supposed to uh, identify uh, issues and violations and the breaches including the ones that are perpetuated by those accounting officers that is why they are supposed to report to a, a separate uh, uh, framework, using a separate framework, and that's the audit committee. So if we have a situation where audit committees are not existent, or we have audit committees that have never held any meeting, or we have uh, uh, internal audit uh, departments that uh, serve at the whims of the accounting officer, do you expect an accountability there? Certainly no. And that is why yes, this wants Kenyans to understand that uh, the fight against corruption is not just about punishing the individuals who are engaging in it. Because it will remove the merchants of graft from an institution and replace them with others. If those systems remain the same, these new ones will find it easy to navigate and maneuver around the weak systems and engage in corruption. For example, uh, the, the, the problem and the rot at Nyayo House that uh, is being addressed is partly due to the systemic weaknesses and the loopholes in the operations of that institution. We moved into NHIF because of the same reason, that you cannot sit and wait for people to engage in corruption, then you now set the law in motion to take them to court. By that time, money has already been lost. So that is why an effective strategy must have uh, both components. You focus on ensuring that systems are effective, systems are seamless, and uh, systems are in such a way that they do not leave room for public officials to solicit for money from citizens. And because uh, investigations Sometimes they uh, do uh, take uh, time because uh, the law requires that, uh, that after investigations you have tracked the file to the DPP who will also have time with it before it finally gets to the court. ESCC is now contemporaneously working with the institutions to strengthen their systems as investigations continue. That will help us in many ways. Number one, to seal those systemic loopholes that allow corrupt people to engage in corruption. And secondly, if those systems are effective and efficient, even those Kenyans who sometimes initiate corruption because they want uh, shortcuts, because they want uh, uh, you know, quick service, sometimes for very good reasons, they will not have reasons to do that. If you go to an organization and you find that the systems are working, even uh, the temptation to get a shortcut or the temptation to look for some other way, the temptation to, you know, find out uh, who can assist you, will not be there. So 
that brings in the role of heads of organizations. Because these internal controls that you're talking about eh, are not established by USC. This explains why heads of organizations in the ministries and the counties have to ensure that they have put in place controls that are effective, 